What's better than a vise for work holding at the mill? Oh, I know. Welcome back to Cloud42, I'm James. I have some projects coming up that are going to involve holding large work pieces in the mill, parts that are too large to fit in the vise. Now the normal approach would be to take the vise off of the mill table and fixture the part directly on the table using clamps. That sounds like kind of a lot of work, I'm not really about that. So instead, I'm going to install a pair of matched vices on the mill and get them aligned so that I can hold a single part spanning across both vices. Now the trick is to get the vices not only trammed to the mill, but aligned with one another. Did a little bit of research trying to find some instructions on how to do that easily. Didn't really find what I was looking for, so I'm gonna make that video for the next person, and that's what we're gonna do today. Big shout out to Shars for providing the vices that I'm gonna be using today. You guys rock. Since I've got everything off the table, I'm gonna take the opportunity to stone it down. These are precision flat ground stones, and I'm just trying to feel around and find any dents or dings or anything that's sticking up. This table feels like it's in great condition. I'm not feeling anything. Now I would like to have the vices centered um, just because I would like to have these vices centered. So I'm just gonna find the center of the table here and put a mark. I'll just put a little mark there with the Sharpie so that I can tell where the center is and I can align everything to that. Now for clamping hardware, I just have T-nuts and some little sections of half inch threaded rod and the clamping nuts from my clamping kit. And I've also turned some quarter inch thick washers out of uh, uh, 4140 steel and those will spread the load and give me nice, clean, even amp clamping pressure on the vices. So I'll just go ahead, bring these to the, pair of these to the center. So those will be between the vices and I'll just go get the vices. Okay, I've got the clamping hardware set up, and of course the vices are not screwed down yet, so they are still free to move, at least constrained by the hardware in the slots on the mill table. Now these are CNC style vices, which means that the hardware here is recessed partially back into the frame of the vise. Now that's great because it allows me to get two vices positioned very close together, but it does make it very difficult to get to this clamping hardware when I actually have the vices here on the table. In fact, in a minute, I'm gonna partially close these jaws as a part of the setup process, and so getting to these is gonna become even more difficult. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop a couple of sockets onto those clamping nuts right now while I have access. And then I'll be able to come back later and reach down in here with a socket extension and actually tighten those between the vices, even when the jaw is partially closed over that. And that'll give me the access I need to actually do the tramming. And then I can open the jaws of the vices and take those off. Now these are 7 8 inch clamping nuts, which are typical of an imperial half inch uh, uh, clamp set but it turns out 7 eighths of an inch and 22 millimeter are very close to one another, so I've got a 22 millimeter socket and my 7 8 socket, and I can just drop those in there and use them for the duration of this process. Now, if I were just tramming one vise, I would just lightly clamp the hardware on one side, and I would run an indicator across the fixed jaw while tapping the vise left and right to zero out my reading, get everything clamped down, and with a couple of taps in and out, I would end up with this vise square to the x-axis of the mill. And I could do exactly the same thing with the other vise, and that would get them both square to the mill, but it won't get the fixed jaws aligned with one another. And I need them not only square, but also aligned straight across so that I can clamp parts across both vices. Now the obvious way to solve this problem is to just go ahead and clamp something in both vices while tramming. 
and uh, you can just grab anything. You can grab a piece of uh, extruded aluminum, a piece of cold finished steel, but the straighter the material is and the more rigid the material is that you use during the tramming process, the better day you will have. The best suggestion that I found online was to use a piece of linear shafting. This is a piece of Thompson quick shaft. This is an inch and a half in diameter, and this stuff is hardened ground and polished. This is intended for running linear bearings in linear motion systems. This stuff is super hard. This is, I think, 60 Rockwell C, uh, which is probably similar to what the vice jaws are, and it is specced to be very, very parallel and very straight. So. Right now I've got these vices just floating here, but I will just go ahead and lightly clamp them down on this bar. And you will see that as they clamp down, they align very easily. I don't wanna bang this around because this is very hard. Okay, so I'm not gonna clamp hard. I'm just gonna lightly hold it, just snug it a little bit because again, this is a really hard round surface against a really hard flat surface. I don't wanna ding anything up. Now when I dial the other vise in and clamp it down, I've got this exaggerated but so that you can easily see it align the vices. And just like that, we now have the two vices aligned so that they move as a unit. Now I will just go ahead and feel where this intersects the slots on the mill and just try to get it as centered as I can. I don't have keys in the vise uh, in the either of the vices that really doesn't work in a setup like this because the chances that your keys will be aligned and in the same position on two vices is pretty low. Okay, so with that visually aligned, I will go ahead and lightly clamp down the hardware on this side. Not too hard so that we can still tap it on this side and let me go get a dial indicator. I have a half thou dial test indicator in an Indicol holder or an Indicol clone here. This one's made by Edge Technology. And I'll just go ahead and mount that on the spindle. And then we'll run this left and right and get on the end of that jaw and just bring it right to zero. Now I have the clamping bolt on this end of the left hand vise clamped down a little bit so that it should act as a pivot and all the rest of the clamping bolts are loose. So with this at zero and this bar clamped in so the two vices are moving in unison, I should be able to just sweep across and as I move, watch which direction the indicator is moving and tap forward and back on the right hand vise to shift the entire stack of two vices in the correct direction to even this out. And we should be able to do this in, you know, one pass or one-ish passes. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I just kind of tapped it as we went across, kept it near zero. Now I'll go ahead and snug down the clamp bolt on the right hand side. And we should be pretty close. Let's traverse back across and see where we are. It's actually pretty close. Uh, we're within a thou all the way across. I'll just do a little bit of tapping on this left vise. And since it's clamped, I gotta hit it just a little harder. And we'll just go back and forth until we have this dialed in. Okay, we are pretty much at zero at the outside edges of both of the jaws of both vices. Let me just make sure that I have those snugged on the outside. And I do, so now what we need to do is check in the middle. And you can see we're just a little bit low there, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unclamp the bar. I'm just opening the vices here. 
and we can work on the vices individually to get the remaining tram. Okay. Now I have the, uh, the clamping bolt on the left here tight, so I can just tap left and right on the front of the vise here to bring the center in. If I tap the right direction, it will help. And then just start snugging down the clamping bolts in the center. Okay, everything should be tapped in, and let's sweep across and see where we are. I've got it on zero. And that looks good to me. It looks like we're within about two tenths across uh, six, 12, 13, 13 or 14 inches. I can live with that. And now that everything's clamped, we're done with these sockets. And that's it, super simple. Like I said, this is the video that I wished I could have found when I was looking and I hope it helps some of you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. I'd like to know what you think. Thank you for watching.